I'm Sherry, and welcome to my series on Testimonies from the God Zone. I'm loving sharing testimonies from the God Zone. The God Zone is the place of miracles, signs, and wonders. It's a place of purpose and destiny and intimacy with God. I feel like everything in my life has just been so miraculous since I said yes to God and took this huge leap of faith into this African adventure. Interesting that it seems like so far all the testimonies that I'm sharing are financial testimonies. And I'd have to say that's because when God said quit your job, one of the things that I said to him was, you are going to have to reveal yourself to me as Jehovah Jireh. Like, You've always been a provider. I've always had favor. I you know, had full scholarship to school and stipends and everything has always been paid for. But the thought of quitting a six-figure job to live on donations, that was, that was stretching the faith. That was stretching the faith quite a bit. And so I remember asking him at the very beginning, reveal yourself to me as Jehovah Jireh. I need to know that aspect of you in a greater dimension than I've ever known before. So I've got tons of financial testimonies where he's done exactly that, where he answered that request and has provided for me miraculously, like like I've not lacked. And not only have I not lacked, but he's also provided wants. It's not just needs, but it's wants as well. So this particular testimony, I had been in Cameroon for six years and I was a bit burnt out. I was a bit tired, as you'll see in my uh, Chronicles of a Diva Missionary series. Life there could be a little bit challenging. Um, you know, you're lacking in some of the basic comforts of life that you're used to. So the work was hard. We'd had a lot of losses. There was a lot of pain. And I just was tired and I wanted to take a trip. So in 2013, I took this amazing, miraculous trip to Kenya. Didn't know why I was going. Didn't, didn't even know why. And it just turned out to be amazing and beautiful. And I fell in love with, with the nation of Kenya. And so when I was talking to God about where I wanted to go on a break, not that I had any money because I was dirt broke at the time. But I was like, oh, I would love to go back to Kenya. And I just felt like God engaged me in the conversation. I was like, really? What would you like to do in Kenya? And I was like, oh, I want to go on safari. But really what I just want to do is sit in coffee jo- shops and drink coffee. I love gourmet coffee. I love gourmet tea. And there are no gourmet tea and coffee shops in Boya, Cameroon. And so that was just one of the things that I missed when I came to Cameroon or to, to When I came to Kenya, I loved sitting in Java, an art cafe, and all these little artsy-fartsy coffee shops, um, drinking coffee and tea. And so I just imagined just being able to, to do that, just to relax, to enjoy the architecture and the beauty of Nairobi. And so God said, really, how much would you need for that? And I said, I want a really good trip. I don't want to worry about money. I need about $1,000 for the plane ticket and, and the rest of the money. And so he said, okay. And so kind of dropped the conversation because I'm thinking I'm really broke right now. And even if I did get $1,000, I would not spend it on a frivolous little trip just because I'm tired. Let me just man up. Let me just buck up and just, you know, get over it. Let me get in the presence of God. Let me sing. Let me worship. Let me read a book. Let me go for a walk. Let me do all those things that I normally do to feel better when I'm a little bit burnt out and nothing worked. Nothing at all worked. And so me and God had another conversation and I was like, you know what? I just edited a book because that's how I do most of my travel. I just edited a book. Let me just use that that book money to buy a plane ticket. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. What am I going to do? I'm going to get there and just sit on the curb after I get there. Like I can't go just on this little $500 for a plane ticket. And so God said, no, really? How much money do you need? And I said, I need $1,000. Where am I going to get $1,000 from? I don't I just don't have a thousand dollars. And even if I fundraise, that's for ministry. That's not for me to go take a trip to go drink coffee and tea. So that afternoon, my Voxer thing went off. My mom left a message and I just was caught up. I was busy doing a whole bunch of stuff and I didn't check it. And then the next day I didn't check it. And then that morning I was like, God, I am so tired. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. He's like, yeah, you told me you need a thousand dollars, right? And I'm like, yeah, I don't have a thousand dollars. So what am I supposed to do? Just lift this heaviness, lift this, ah, do something. And he goes, you know, your mom left you a message the other day. You might want to check it. I'm like, okay. And I check it and it's my mom saying, hey, We got this check from the bank. There was a settlement for blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I didn't even know there was a lawsuit. And she's like, yeah, you got a settlement. And I'm like, well, how much is the check? And she said, it's $1,300. 
I screamed. I scream a lot, in case you haven't noticed from the other videos. I scream a lot. I screamed, I'm going to Kenya! And it just was the sweetness of God. Like, he knew that money was sitting there. And he's like, uh, you might want to check your boxer. And I'm like, yeah, I needed to check my boxer. And so I got, I, I, I put down the phone and bought a plane ticket to Kenya and came to Kenya. And the first day in Kenya, I was sitting in this little tea shop. It's called Melvin's Tea House or something like that. It's in the atrium of a mall. Um, and it's just beautiful and sweet. And, oh, one of my friends that I had stayed with when I came to Kenya in 2013 was like, oh, just come, you can stay here for free. And then my friend Rosie, who had invited me on the very first trip, she was like, oh my goodness, that's right down the street from my house. So it was like, oh, this is God, this is God. And I remember sitting in the lobby of Melvin's Tea House and just people watching and drinking the best cup of hibiscus ginger tea. And it was there that God spoke to me for the very first time that we were gonna launch ministry in Kenya. I thought I was on a vacation just to drink tea and he had actually brought me to Kenya to release the next step of ministry. And the thought of living in Nairobi just brought so much joy. I call Nairobi my Africa Atlanta. It's a great city, metropolitan, great restaurants, great coffee shops, tea shops, art, jazz, just anything that I could ask for, anything that, that I love that would make me happy. And so, a cup of tea turned into a new destiny and a new base. I'm sitting in my apartment overlooking the city in Nairobi, Kenya, all from a miracle of provision. He's really, really good. He's really good. There's so many other parts to that story that I could tell, but I just really wanted to focus on the financial provision. So if you are thinking of taking a leap of faith into your purpose and destiny, listen to hear God really well. I would never suggest jumping just on an idea or on a whim. But if God speaks to you and he says, do this thing, then trust him, talk to him, have conversations, intimate conversations with him about what you're supposed to do. And then when you are 100% sure that it's God, prophetic confirmations, we talked about prophetic community, and, and just you being sure from your intimate relationship with God, then take that leap of faith. He's gonna provide all that you could ever want, all that you could ever need. So thanks for watching. I hope the video blessed you. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in the God's Own book that has this story and all so many other stories, then the link is in the description to this video. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook as Sherry Lewis. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. God bless.